In this video, we're going to take you through the entire process of demolishing the old barn, salvaging this wood off of it. Then we're going to show you how to clean it up and prepare it for your project. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Patriot DIY channel. You can see behind me we have a bunch of old barn wood back here. This wood is about a hundred years old. It was salvaged from an old tobacco barn that's been in my family for a very long time. And we're going to repurpose it and give it new life and put it on the wall back here in our shop. So today we're going to be talking about how to salvage, clean, and process reclaimed barn wood. If that sounds like something you're interested in, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. That really helps us out. We're going to take you through the entire process of demolishing the old barn, salvaging this wood off of it. Then we're going to show you how to clean it up and prepare it for your project. All right, guys, so this is just some beautiful wood back here behind me. Now, one reason this wood looks so good and why it was so well preserved over the years is because the entire barn was covered in barn shingles, which was good for preserving the wood, but bad for me because I was the one that had to remove all of those shingles. Each of these pieces of wood was completely covered in shingles and roofing nails that had to be taken off. Now, before we get into that, I wanna sh just show you guys real quick two tools that were absolutely necessary for this project. I would not have been able to get this project done without these two tools. The first is a good long pry bar. This one specifically has an articulating head on it so you can rotate it to whatever position you need. It has a nice long handle on it. That came in handy big time for getting a lot of those nails out. The next is this shingle remover or roofing shovel or whatever you want to call it. It has a nice long handle on it so you can get a lot of leverage and it has a big wide head on it with a lot of teeth. Now what I was able to do with this was to get up underneath those shingles and really pry down on it and these teeth will grab into all of those roofing nails and I'm able to pop them out all at one time. So this made the process go a whole lot faster and honestly guys, I never would have got it done without this tool right here. And I will link to those in the description below. So let's get right into it. All right guys, first thing we did was inspect the barn. Obviously a lot of the wood, especially lower down on the walls, was rotted and had some bug damage and stuff like that. So we wanted to inspect the wood and find what was in the best shape. Once we had done that, the next thing we had to do was clear out the area around the barn so we had some room to work. So we got out the chainsaw, we cut down some of these trees and brush around it so we had plenty of room to work. And then I got to work removing the shingles. That was probably the worst part of the whole project, but the tools that I showed you earlier in the video made it go a lot easier. Once the shingles were removed, I found the easiest thing to do was to go into the barn from the inside and use a dead blow hammer or some type of mallet to knock the boards out from the inside. You do want to be careful doing this. You'll notice that I'm wearing some glasses, some good work gloves, and a hard hat while I'm working on this. Once we had everything loaded up and back to the house, it was time to start removing any nails that were left over. And let me tell you, there were a lot of nails. And more nails.
and more nails. But after all that hard work, the result was something pretty awesome. Now this wood did sit under my shelter for a good long while before I was able to get back to it. But now we're ready to get everything laid out and start cleaning it up. We're going to start by going over the whole thing with a pressure washer and I will put a link to the one I'm using in the description below if you want to check it out. But all I'm doing here is getting off any dirt or pollen that's on there. I'm not trying to take off the top layer of the wood or change the character of it at all. I'm just trying to get it cleaned up. All right guys, now that we've got this wood all sprayed and cleaned up, we're gonna go back and put a product called Boracare on here. Since this wood has been sitting out for a long time, this is just some wood treatment that's gonna help kill any bugs that may be in it, prevent more bugs from getting into it, and it's also gonna prevent things like mold and algae and stuff like that from developing on here. And to apply this, we're just gonna be using a standard two gallon pump sprayer. Once everything was cleaned and treated, we got it back inside so it could dry out. All right guys, as you can see, this is just some beautiful wood. It's old rough sawn lumber. You can even see all of the saw marks going through it from that old sawmill. You'll notice that it does have a lot of character. There's a lot of holes in it from those roofing nails and things like that. A lot of different colors going through it. We have uh, some reds and some lighter colors and some that's already turned to gray. Uh, so it's gonna give us a lot of character on our wall. And like I said, guys, these boards are massive. Most of these are 17 foot long. These ones here are 12 inches wide, a full one inch thick. This is some great lumber. And by 2022 standards, this is thousands of dollars worth of wood right here. What you're seeing in this clip is only about half of what I have. And there is more on the barn that I could go back and get if I needed to. And the last thing we're gonna do here, guys, is just go in and cut off any of the ends that are rotted or broken.
All right, guys, that is it for how to salvage your old reclaimed barn wood for your projects. I hope this video helped you out, guys. And like I said, I'm going to link to all the stuff we used in the description below. Make sure you stick around, though, because the next thing we need to do is start getting some of this cut down and get it installed on the wall in our shop. This project really meant a lot to me, guys, because this barn has been in my family for years and years. And it's great to be able to repurpose that and give it new life and put it up in my shop and it'll be in my family for years to come. So thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.